Flying cars. Flying cars. Flying car. Flying cars you're seeing in sci-fi movies are one step closer to actually happening. The FAA just certified an all-electric version from a California company for testing. It's what's called an eVTOL, an electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicle. Manufacturers believe they will be the greener, quieter, and cheaper answer to helicopters, and one day may be used like a taxi in the sky. Aleph's Automotive's Model A is the first fully electric vehicle approved by the U.S. government that can both fly and travel on roads. So Aleph claims the car can travel up to 200 miles by land, but it maxes out at 25 miles an hour. It can also travel for 110 miles by air. No word yet on the speed there. Aleph plans to sell the Model A for about $300,000. Delivery is anticipated around the end of 2025. The Model A still needs approval from the National Highway Transportation Safety Board. This achievement represents a milestone in the evolution of personal transportation systems and opens up opportunities for both individuals and businesses to reimagine mobility options in cities. I think that EVTOLs will really be on the scene in the next five years, ten years. Exactly how far they get, as in what kind of payloads they will be taking. Will they be taking busloads of people? Uh, I suspect that might be a, a few decades down the road. The main challenges for EV tolls, there's a regulatory category because we've got to make sure that they're safe. And I suspect the technology will look after itself. The big one though is batteries. If we can get battery technology to be just 10 times better, 10 times would be, boy, the holy grail. The company envisions that its flying car will save the riders time during the commutes with its ability to fly over traffic and accidents on roadways. Because it can reportedly take off like a helicopter, it doesn't need wings like a traditional aircraft, so it doesn't have them, meaning it looks more like a car and less like a flying vehicle. To us, there is no greater duty than reporting the truth and fighting back against the corrupt corporate news narratives that are poisoning our country. For us to continue to be the largest independent creator of no-nonsense, objective, conservative news content on the web, we need your help. The help of you and patriots exactly like you. We can do this.